These are the chaotic scenes posted by the Wagner mercenary group of what they say is their forest camp struck by the Russian military. In a clearing, trees appear to have been smashed, some with fabric strewn from their branches. Through a gash in the soil, a fire burns in what appears to be a destroyed bunker. There are gruesome images too, of a corpse in the undergrowth, as well as severed body parts. The Russian Defence Ministry denies any role in this, but a furious Wagner leader is vowing revenge. Those who destroyed our guys today, along with tens of thousands of lives of Russian soldiers, will be punished. I ask no one to put up any resistance. Justice for the troops will be restored, and then justice for all of Russia. It's a threat of violence now posing a major challenge to the authority of President Putin. The Kremlin says all necessary measures are being taken. And now the Russian security service has opened a criminal case into what they say is a call for armed rebellion. Patience with Prigozhin appears to have finally run out. The Wagner chief, whose mercenaries have played a key role in the Ukraine war, has long been at odds with Russia's military command, accusing them repeatedly of mishandling the conflict. But recent weeks have seen tensions escalate after the Kremlin ordered all Russian mercenaries to sign contracts with the Defence Ministry in a move seen as a crackdown on Wagner. In the hours before the alleged strike on the Wagner camp, Prigozhin stepped up his war of words, accusing the Defence Ministry of tricking the country into an unprovoked invasion back in February last year. On February 24th, nothing extraordinary happened. But the Ministry of Defense was trying to deceive the public, to deceive the president, and say that there was insane aggression on the part of Ukraine and that they were going to attack us together with NATO. The war was not needed in order to return Russian citizens to our bosom and not needed in order to demilitarize and denazify Ukraine. It is a bold, even dangerous criticism of Russia's war that may be plunging the country into turmoil.